Welcome back to Let's Play Heavy Rain. We are going to be playing as Ethan Mars again today. And I already hear the dial tone. It's fabulous. Now, obviously, uh, losing his son for the second time <laughs> hasn't really uh, it ha hasn't really been serving him well. He's just kind of uh, kind of despondent, a little depressed. You know, we'll, we'll give him. We'll, we'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say a, that. A well, little? Yeah. He sold his TV and couch. He's like, those are my son's favorites. No! They still smell like him, and he still has his favorite channels logged into the cable box. I still have his uneaten pizza in the fridge that I could have given him. No! And now I can't even pick up my eviction notice. God damn, today yeah. sucks. Yeah. But we do have a mysterious letter addressed to us... somehow. Oh, it's our ransom note. And it says... When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children had never been seen again. Because they grew up and became adults and then they came home. Please turn the page. Can you read it any more wooden there, buddy? Can he even read it? I want to think there's a tape recorder in his pocket. The letter actually says, Play message when getting message. <laughs> that's, some, that's some really quality cardstock they use for the envelope. Very nice. Oh, there's oh. also something else in here. Oh, a wrench. Locker ticket. Oh, a pair of pliers. Zero three and statue of some sort. Hmm. <laughs> he stares at it intently. I have to get out as of here and to find out what this ticket is about. <laughs> so, we got to go to the station, to find the locker, mm -hmm. to figure out what this is all about. But the thing is, we can't go out the front door. There's tons of press and paparazzi there, just waiting. <laughs> to ransack us. <laughs> Mr. Mars, Mr. Mars, is it true you lost your son? Click, 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 click. This will go great next to the pictures of Spider-Man. Well, there's a way around that. And it's not becoming an NBA star. Damn it. Huh? There we go. Maybe I can jump over here and... Well, okay, guess not. Uh, guess I'll just go down the stairs then. Time for the parkour segment of Heavy Rain. Here we go. Oh, you know it. What? Never taken a shortcut before? Dun 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 Through the neighbor's yard and then we get to our car. Dun dun Through the neighbor's yard. Dun Through the neighbor's yard and try to knock on their door. Can I borrow some sugar? Oh, wait, they're not home. Well, all right then, I guess. I'll just go to my car. Time to break in through their window and steal their gems. Because I don't have a son, so I have no fear. Or friends. Or family, now, to be honest. That is a, that is a good point. He doesn't have any friends. Time to steal things. He is alone in this world. It's kind of kind of pathetic. Well, I mean, when his thought process is dial one to speak English... I think I understand why. So I love how all these people here, <laughs> they don't notice me going into my car. Slam! Oh, wait, there he sl is! Slamming the door, starting the engine, very slowly and gingerly, I may add. With what key? Bullshit! I don't see anything there. It's magic! There it is! <laughs> oh, let's put it in reverse to knock over all the reporters. Now we'll go into drive, but I, I got away scot-free. <laughs> it didn't see... Great journalism, guys. Open your eyes, maybe. Somebody throw what? a rock in his window. See if he's home. That's actually an achievement. What? To not get caught by the paparazzi. Oh, oh then you must have got it in your first playthrough, then. Well, uh, no, we're going to get it at the end here. Ah, uh, okay. So this is sensory overload, I believe that is what Ethan Mars is feeling right now. Yeah, this is what, agoraphobia? He has fear of crowds, is that it? Oh, fear of the outside world mainly is agoraphobia. At least I think it is. 
Well, he, he's got a huge problem with crowds, probably because of, you know, the circumstances around his son. Ooh. Gonna, gonna How bad is it? Crowd. Well, he I can't, can't even... Can't crowd. Just can't handle it. Has it has the luggage has it. They're on the other... No time to waste. I need to find out what's in that locker. <laughs> Maybe I could... What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Ah! I'm just not going to make it. His thoughts I'm are overlapping. I can't go Oh my on. god, he's making the screen tear a lot, and that's that's really bad. The PS3, <laughs> the most powerful machine at the time, cannot handle this. Six core processors. I guess they needed a seventh. <laughs> yeah, six core processors, one for every tear in the screen. Yeah, we put it on the PS4, and it still kind of runs like crap. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. By the way, I hope everybody picks up the David Cage collection on PlayStation 4 coming out here yes. soon. Yes, yes. <laughs> you get all Where's, of his games. Where is Fahrenheit? Exactly. Where is Omicron, the Nomad Soul? It's I want the full <laughs> Quantic Dream collection here. It's probably going to be a download code on the inside of the box. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, he's having a he, panic attack. He, he's having some breathing problems. Like, <laughs> really bad ones. <laughs> Air! So I gotta push down on the six axis to stimulate his labored breathing to what? get through the crowd here. Really? So you're, like, moving the controller up and down, right? I'm kind of shaking it a little bit. Just kind of, like, jerk, jerking it. <laughs> shaking it up. Uh. But the thing is, this must have been something that developed after uh, Jason died. Because he was fine in the mall the first time. Alright, shaking, shaking. Whoa. Oh, come on! <laughs> I guess so, my DualShock 3 is really old, so it doesn't really make a lot of good noises when I shake it. Here, listen. Ah, ah, no, stop. stop. There's something in, like, there's something in there. I think it's just parts. Oh, Whatever it is, it's, make, it's making the R2 button stick, too, so. Ha have I ever told you the horror stories of working at GameStop and people bringing in systems to trade in? I can only imagine, dude. Oh, well, there's one guy who brought in a limited edition Resident Evil 5 uh, Xbox 360, and I was yeah. horrified to know that they used it as a table and it had sawdust all over it. Ah! So, uh, I guess he goes into the Quantic zone or something. Welcome, Ethan. You are in the realm of Quantic Dreams. Don't touch that. <laughs> huh? Is that you, Tommy? Oh, that was weird. So there's another trophy uh, attributed to this. Touch everyone. Knock, knock over 50 people. Yes. Harder than it looks. Tell you what. There we go. <laughs> I know they're trying to go for some, like, avant-garde kind of style here, but this is really funny. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's supposed to be, like, artistic and all that, and I get what they're going for here. Yeah, yeah. But there actually are, you know... Some good character, you know, a lot of uh, decent character models. It's, it's some variety, at least, you know, some variety, for the most part. <laughs> I mean, they're repeated about three or four times within one screen. I mean, Jason! I know Dead Rising did that too, but those were zombies, not people. Wait, that was was that Madison? No, I think that was her face. Probably was. They probably just, you know, jumbled together Jason! some people or Jake! whatever. The balloon. Gotta get the balloon. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. This is driving me crazy. Yes, it is. Jason, 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 yes, it is. The balloon. Gotta get the balloon. The gotta balloon. get the balloon. Gotta, gotta get another get extra life in Donkey Jason. Kong Country Tropical Freeze. <laughs> gotta get the balloon. <laughs> I'm in a pile of corpses trying to find my dead boy. Ethan, you are pitiful. What a triumph for him to go a total of 20 feet. Excuse me, sir. Do you know what day it is? Hey, I made it. So that wasn't too hard. Good job, Ethan. Made it. I made it. I managed to get through the goddamn crowd. Oh, the goddamn crowd. It's a nightmare. <laughs> The whole thing was just a fucking nightmare. No, it was a goddamn Jason. nightmare. <laughs> Jason is dead. The lockers. Jason never dies. Now I gotta find if I've seen one. Friday the 13th movies, Jason never dies. 
So he tries to go back in the crowd, he's like, Oh no, how do I get home? <laughs> Shit! Oh god, how do I get home? Fire boss of life! <laughs> Let's throw one more time. Like, like, just face your fears, Ethan. Come on, you can. Ah, uh, oh, oh, peep, people. I'll just wait until 8 p.m. when the station closes. Uh. I just think if he wakes up from another nightmare, he's gonna yell layers of fear out into the night. What's he gonna do when it's rush hour? The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. Right. This is just like regular Pittsburgh people. Line 18, box <laughs> number three. There's something in line 18, box three. Mm, get a nice uh, close up of the fingernails there. Oh, yeah. Line 18, box 3. The lockers. Now I've got to find the Excuse right one. Excuse me, sir. Can you help me find locker 18? Uh, no. Aw, oh, man, and I came all the way out here in the crowd to get it. Do I hear a dial tone? <laughs> it's happening again. Ethan, no. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, oh, here we go. 18, box number 3. Every get there we go. Wait, how does he know the code? Maybe it's on the thing. Okay. Make sure no one's looking though. Gotta be secret. Shh. Oh please let it be a deflated balloon in a clown costume. I always feel like somebody's watching me. And I got no heavy rain! Whoa! Whoa. I always feel like David Cage is watching me. Especially if I'm a woman and in my own privacy. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, oh. oh what's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> it's Jason's head. No. <laughs> no, it's all decomposed and gross. And ah. Oh, how long has this been in here? But this is significant. And now we're actually getting to the fun parts of Heavy Rain. Oh, please open it and have it be a mirror. And it it just has a little message saying, Who's the killer now? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Oh, okay, okay. Welcome to Road Cross. Or, wait. Crossroad. Oh, I get it. So, here's one of my biggest problems with Heavy Rain. You know what could have, you know, it's trying to be like a noir film. It's like, you know, released elements of noir. So, you know what they could have really used? A narration. Like, where where is Ethan right now? Do you know? No, he's at Crossroad. The only way you can find out is if you listen to his thoughts talking about the fucking Am I the one who motel that he's in. Box in the locker? I don't remember. Instead, it's like, you know, after I received the box from the station, I decided the to move into a hotel locker. to avoid all what the crowds and paparazzis inside? that were, uh, you know, heckling me at my own house. And find out what's inside. Okay, I'm going to look this the up because box. I already know what's what the they're going to try and do. They're going to try to say that Ethan I has room split personality disorder and not actually schizophrenia. Uh, don't look anything up. No, I wasn't going to look up specifically this game. I was going to look up the definition of schizophrenia. Whatever you think they're trying to do with Ethan, they're not. <laughs> well, he mentioned schizo. I figured he'd go that route. He thinks he's schizo. Oh, gee, where am I? Where am I going? Wait a minute. How'd I get here? I can't afford Crossroads Motel. Again, yeah, one of the most European-looking motels I've ever fucking seen. I don't know. I think our Motel 8 is pretty bog-standard. But I will say that design outside is very European. You know, if, Mod if Madison got to do it, Ethan's gonna do it, too. Jesus, what is the fascination with this? You pee in a video game, it's like uh, pee in virtual reality. Yeah, yeah, you know the last game I played that had pissing in it? It was Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> I thought I was going to piss again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow, I shouldn't have drank all that Make water on the way here. do it again, here. pick up a turd, throw it at aliens, it's awesome. There's a sink, so you know what that means, you got to wash our face in it. Mm -hmm. That's all these sinks are good for, is washing your fucking face. But you can't wash away the sin, yeah, Ethan! Yeah, it's the sin of losing not only one son to unnatural causes and somehow death, you also lost your other one due to your engro gross incompetence. Oh, Jesus. That just looks like a fucking baseball in there. Just... Oh, oh, God, Ethan. God. What, what are you doing to yourself, Mars? God. Come on, pick yourself back up, Ethan. We can make a, a new Jason and a new Sean. It'll be better than ever. Better than the first model. We'll make it a party line. 
<laughs> don't, don't worry. We can go out there, get a new wife, and then when she asks why the name Jason, why the name Sean, and I'll, I'll respond with, no, I didn't kill them! Well. It was the car. Let's take a look at what's in the box. Okay. It's his backpack! Just gotta make sure it's not you know, trapped or anything. Like, he's got a Oh, damn. That's a gun. That is a, uh, this? that's a lot of stuff. That is a gun. That is a cell phone. That is some origami there. So, let's take a look at what is in this box. There's quite a few things. There are one, two, three, four, <laughs> oh, no. five origamis. Oh, no. That's a video a camera. Never mind. Yeah. A gun, a cell phone camera, and I guess like a really outdated form of SD card because it like plugs into the bottom of the phone or whatever. I don't know. I mean, it's 2010. They had SD cards by then, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Are you prepared to show Kurt to save your son? Joe's Garage at Parking Lot, 4988 Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington. Okay, this got cool. All right. Well, that was the first origami that we unfolded, the one that said number one. So I guess we'll take that parking ticket and go to the parking lot and we'll figure out what we gotta do. So, uh, I guess we'll take this looking chip, whatever, and I'm just gonna call it a proto SD card. Plug into the bottom of this cell phone. I think what that's supposed to do, it's supposed to, like, you know, play automatically or whatever, this kind of technology. You know, whatever. They got an Ari phone or an Ari glasses that do whatever, Help. but, uh, check it out! Dad! Sean. It's Sean! You? I'm so cold. Dad. He's not doing well. Dad. How far are you prepared to go to save someone you love? Well, not that far, Harry. Come on. <laughs> he looks like he's about to bust burst into laughter. Five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. Ooh. So there are. So Ethan is going to go on five harrowing trials to get clues to solve the hangman, to figure out exactly where his son is being held. And you can actually fail or refuse these trials. And if you fail too many of them or refuse too many of them, Sean will die. Sweet. So, yeah. so this, is what, this is what I like. You know, I, I'm intrigued. You know, things are picking up now, right? It's exciting. It's great. I'm having a lot of fun. Hell yeah. So, the like, the we're, caveat we're is I think a lot of these choices are going to be based on my decisions. Well, the caveat is, well, that's the end of Ethan Mars for this episode. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> He's going to walk away and get into his car and drive off, and that's all we're going to see from him for today. Damn it, you had me going. I wanted to see what happened next. <laughs> Bye, Ethan. Like, Bye. You dial tone idiot. <laughs> all right, so who's next? Nope, we're going to spend the rest of the episode with everyone's favorite stupid drug addled FBI agent. Ha ha ha. <laughs> What's Norman up, Jaden? <laughs> We're gonna go on a wild goose chase with him. Although, oh, good. If we play our cards right, and if Ethan fucks up hard enough, Jaden may be able to save Sean for us. Oh no shit! Hey, that's a VIP. It's for uh, abandoning the paparazzi and escaping them. The so, is white. yay Age me! I'm a VIP. Thirty and forty-five. Nice. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. So now we are talking with our boss, Lieutenant Blake, and That's some other dude back there, talking about what clues we have found, and just, you know, synopsis on the Orcom killers. Okay, I'm just going to say, him, I've seen this scene before, symbol. but not it's the way you're like supposed to see it. Figure and an well, uh, gifts. you're talking about the 500% facial animation. Oh, yeah. Really, really, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. It's but what so does this version have that that version doesn't have? You see the little triangle button there? Yeah. I can keep changing the slides. The best way of tracking a predator. Really? Is to be familiar with his behavior. Yep. Keep, keep watching. I'm constantly changing the slides. <laughs> so they have no idea what you're talking about, then. Continue, Jaden. So Blake's gonna keep giving you shit for everything you're doing, <laughs> and we can either choose to be calm and professional, or we can come and really ream his ass. Not like it matters either way. Well, yeah. I mean, I assume. They More basically give you the answer so you can actually go and do face. something about it. It's like, it's like, do you want to be the calm, cool, collected FBI agent, agent or do you want to be the asshole who yells at everybody who gives him Michael. shit? Or both. And what be really inconsistent. This, uh, All of the above. Zone. For the moment, <laughs> it's a big zone. <laughs> Way to go, Blake. Square mile. <laughs> oh, great. 
must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? 10,000? Yeah. Damn. Call more aggressive, call more aggressive, call more aggressive. Oh, let's tear into him! The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. God, look at Come, that mouse going. Yeah. One well, let's talk about the rainfall now. The interval yeah, this is the important. This is kind of what I was figuring out myself. Found ranges from three so to five uh, I'll days. fill out. I'll fill the rest the of the blanks for everybody else. Uh, if you saw from the video, Sean is time. kind of drowning a little what bit. What does that mean? And every time we get to a scene transition, we're going to be seeing how many inches of rain there are. Once that gets to about six inches, Sean's dead. He has drowned entirely. Right. So you need to figure out where he is and save him before that happens. Yep, we have to do it in time. And we got to do these trials. we got to do it all and all that. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. Stop changing the slides, dickhead. Damn Hope you got a photographic memory. Time with this bullshit. <laughs> The killer's out there well, don't somewhere. worry, he'll just flip back to the first slide in about two minutes. All right, I've had it with this asshole. Go for him. Go! Frank, I've had just about enough of your shit. You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? What <laughs> you got, huh? Nothing. Absolutely <laughs> nothing. <laughs> you do better Whoa. fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses? Well, yes! You yes! Now, I can't! That don't mean I absolutely can! I have the back of the there. fucking government behind me! Bureaucrat. What's that have to do with anything? Go for him, go for him, go for him, go, go, go! <laughs> He's just going over. It's like, you don't know what's coming. He's like, oh, you... Oh, mm. That's enough. You said it took six that was fun, of though. fall before the victim died. It was pretty funny. It got heated. How much but, uh, you know, left? the one thing Blake has over you is he can actually tie a fucking tie. Less than 72 hours. Yeah, well, I can do drugs, so... <laughs> yeah, suck it, Blake. Anything you could do... I could do better! I can sort of anything better than you. Well, this is the guy who we're going Nathaniel to be uh, talking about. Suspect. Our prime suspect is this Nathaniel Williams guy. And he lives in the exact geoprofiling zone. He's now, had some history with the police department, so this is a good time to uh, knock on his door and ask him what's up. I want to ask you a question while we're slowly opening up the door. Go ahead. What happens if the forecast changes and the kid doesn't die? Like, I'm asking in a real-life sense, it doesn't rain a lot around where I live, but maybe in Pittsburgh it does, so what happens if you have one day of no rain and then it evaporates no a bit? We waste our time he just shoots here. the kid. <laughs> Okay, that's very simplistic. Maybe we should have guess. a little look inside anyway. There's nobody Kick down home. the door. I'm going to guess that he looks at barometric pressures and, you know, studies, weather patterns, all that. There is now. I'm not well, sure that's entirely legal. Do you need probable cause, asshole? Call the cops. I'm the FBI! <laughs> but whatever. Why don't you put on your fancy glasses and call the cops on me, Mr. Nice Guy? Oh hey. my god! This episode is brought to you by the letter T. Like oh dear! <laughs> to to a very and alarming the, extent. The end of the world. And the number three sixteen. <laughs> a few months back, because he was causing a disturbance in the park, he was ranting and raving. So about the rain thing. Just assume that it's a place where if it rains, it rains for five days. Maybe it's like five days on, ten days off. Five days on, ten days off. That, that's that's fine. I was just thinking this is like the American version of Inaba. As soon as it starts <laughs> raining, people are fucked. Well, bodies do pile up if the rain doesn't Candles stop. Are still lit. <laughs> he should be back soon. I mean, unless he left this place to burn. Eh, oh, right. Oh, shit, the fuzz. Better light this bitch on fire. There's plenty of crucifixes here to burn. I got a feeling David Cage doesn't know how ev evangelicas, uh, evangelism works. Can't even say it, right? <laughs> Evangelica, the evil, like, lady who just, like, throws crosses at you. I don't think David Cage knows how his religious nutbags work too well. It's like, just put a bunch of crosses and have them sleep in, like, a, like a crypt or whatever. I don't know. The power of Christ compels you, you dumb babies! Evangelica! So check it. He's got pills here, pills and vitamins of all shapes and sizes here. Okay, that's good. Um, no, okay. Yeah. 
I think the idea is we're supposed to look at everything in this in this house. Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh my cute. god, he was playing real life hangman in here. Uh uh uh. I'm ashamed at you, Blake. Mm mm. Oh, well, let's see what he has in the bathroom. Uh, luckily, nope, nothing. Time too to take bad, a piss. But, uh, what's we got yeah. in here? Uh, more fucking pills. Okay, great. Uh, that's that's oh, a good dear. place to hold them too, I suppose. All right. Guess we can do that. Uh, you know, bathroom looks pretty normal otherwise. You know, compared to the rest of his fucking house. Double check. Is anything in here? Uh, I don't like it. Uh, what about the kitchen? Kitchen, kitchen. What do we got in here? Oh, he's got some holy marmalade. I want some of that. Great input there, Blake. The guy's taking a break from reality. Hold up here in this crazy apartment. It's stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. Ugh. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. Yes, we are. Blake's just on a personal bed. And look, more fucking pills! Jesus. Let's put them all in one place! That's all I ask. Do the dishes, you fucking slob. Well, I don't think there's anything left in here to check. Except for, like, this one spot in the bookcases. Bitch, that's, uh, those are books! Alright, what else we got in here? Oh, he's back! Da 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 dun 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 Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Except play hangman no, with an actual, you, you know, you just crucifying cross. Let's ask him some questions here. Why all the crucifixes? I thought that said you cupcakes. <laughs> why, why all the cupcakes? You hungry? And the wrath of oh, God. You, you, you mean on, on the walls? Down. Yeah. You're preparing for the end of the world. What? You've been preparing for the end of the world for like ten years, dude. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My He's waiting for the mystical, magical date of 12-21-12. To Lord for the salvation of humanity. So he doesn't have a job. How is he paying for this place? How is he eating? Well, well, by the, the power, power of Christ. Christ. Where you were last Tuesday right. at 4.30 p.m. Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. All was day? Was there anybody with you? Don't you have a TV? Well, no, no, I guess you don't have a TV. You have, no, you have books? No, I was alone. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Jesus oh, we both loves know who talks me, to you. yes, I know. Oh, the Bible tells me so. Hey, do you even have a Bible, dude? What does well, he say to you, He's got plenty of Jesus on the wall. So we could intervene with I Blake here. about it. Because he's going to be, uh, he's going to be doing some stuff. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he's he? He's gonna be doing some bad he stuff. He needs more and more. Because clearly he's got he's got it out for this guy. But hey, Blake's want to be the big bad, you know, police guy. He thinks he that you know I'm better than him. So this is all you, dude. This is all you. In the park, the voices tormented you all night long. You want you know, I'll, I'll even pace around him with you. We can both circle him. Oh, cool. We're yeah, both like, bad cop. That's it's enough. like, what you gonna do, Nate? What are you thinking, Nate? So you obeyed them to make them stop. What do the voices tell you, Nate? You what do they tell you? Him? Isn't that right? Oh. No! Stop! Hey, uh, Blake, I, th stop. I think you should, uh, stop. You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? It doesn't work like this, dude. Do you know how being a cop works? I saw a cop oh. on TV. Whoa! So time for our next question. Oh, God, what did I say? Do we take the shot? Oh, no! Do we take the shot? Do we take the shot? Shoot him! Oh, God! I... I shot him. Actually, I shot him. Oops. Yep. Looks like you did. Whoops! Can't well, miss him. crap. Come on, let's go. That didn't go so well. And I think you worded it exactly like that, too. Do we take the shot? We took the shot. I thought well, you were meaning like whiskey. Way to go, Niskel. You killed a man. Fuck. See you next time on Let's Play Heavy Rain. <laughs>